So in the context of uh, overlapping hazards that marked our 2020, our task was to rebuild a couple of the most valuable collections that are stored here in the Institute of Art History in Zagreb from scratch on site. Um, this year of unexpected events sincerely and truly expanded all of our capacities, forcing us to rethink uh, our everyday working practices and consequently gave us a true new perspective to understand crisis as catalyst for collaboration and change. Um, I wish to give uh, just a few introductory words about our in institution. Um, the Institute was established in 1961 and is situated here uh, at this beautiful modernist building that you can see, uh, which is protected cultural heritage site itself. We are a team of 22 scientists, primarily art historians and nine expert professionals, a five architects, a librarian, a photographer, a documentalist myself, and ICT specialist. I mentioned this just to stress out that as a small team of professionals, we are natively relying on the models of interdis interdisciplinarity and teamwork throughout all the types of projects that we conduct. For the past 10 years now, we are oriented to including upcoming young researchers in our uh, projects, often as volunteers. And we have developed a very successful program of uh, student internship uh, in collaboration with the Department of uh, Information Archival Studies here in Zagreb. Magdalena and Philip, who joined me today, also became our members through this program, uh, stayed as volunteers for many months after, and nowadays are working here honorary as aftermath uh, of uh, this extraordinary year. Um, I will go uh, quickly go through our time with key dates of 2020. Um, so at the beginning of the year, we received supplement of paper collection to the personal legacy of our first director, Gergo Gamolin, honorable, honorable uh, professor, professor and um, art historian and art critic. But unfortunately, it was in a very bad condition and had to be mechanically cleaned uh, before all other phases of processing. Soon after, we were stuck with the first national pandemic lockdown and we were forced to home and remote offices. Only seven days in quarantine uh, had we suffered massive earthquake here in Zagreb and we again were forced to shift our perspective because um, damaged collections here in the Institute of, uh, of Art History needed to be rebuilt on site and, uh, and parallelly many of our resources needed to be prepared and digitized um, so that it could be re redirected to the teams of specialists who were uh, from the first day working on documenting damaged sites, uh, many of them valuable heritage sites throughout the historical center of the city of Zagreb. Beginning of May, we got back to our premises and uh, actually started to ex the extensive restoration of our main library collection uh, of around 30,000 books and magazines. At this time, we have opened up uh, to students who, after finishing the basic internship program, program uh, had a will and interest to help us with cleaning the before mentioned damaged paper collection or, or uh, arranging library collection by the UDC system from the scratch. Uh, during this process, we also experienced flooding for the first time uh, after torrential rains in Zagreb one weekend in late July that was followed by seven days working without electricity, for example. And uh, just on the day that we have finished the most of the post earthquake reconstruction, we received um, an extremely sad news that our honorable colleague, academician and, and uh, emeritus Tonko Marojevic unexpectedly passed away. Consequently, and with warm and important support of his family, we started to form his personal archival collection and Ex Libris again on the site. This process started mid of September and was finished just before the second big earthquake here in Croatia in late December, after which we had to repeat some of the phases of the, this process mentioned earlier. Um, so as one of the informal crisis team member, I can say that we are nevertheless very proud and appreciative of this whole process and experience we gained within. And even though we still work in the context of continuous crisis, we witness that we have undergone a positive transformation as community and have rebuilt our team workforce with new, ex new competences, skills and shared knowledge. And um, now I give floor to our valuable teamwork members, Magdalena and Philip, please. 
Uh, hello, uh, I will briefly walk you through our main events of uh, 2020. Um, so we will start with uh, Gerga Gamon's favorite collection. Uh, the Institute of Art History has uh, received Gerga's um, collection uh, on the 5th of February and it arrived in a compromised condition. Uh, it was full of uh, spores and mold. So we had to contact Mrs. Uh, Martina Bagatin from the Croatian Star State Archives in Zagreb to ask her what to do with it. Uh, fortunately, she said that we needn't do anything special, but uh, that it would be necessary to clean each uh, piece of paper mechanically by hand. And due to the coronavirus and the earthquakes, other institutions could not receive students for student traineeship. Uh, so many of them came to the institute. Among them were uh, my colleague, uh, Philip, and myself. Um, so the cleaning of the legacy of Gerga Gamolin became part of the traineeship. And uh, on the pictures, you can see Irena and Lina with the, uh, the paper collection and the students who are a cleaning part of this legacy. Uh, in general, one of the goals of our task is uh, running archival collections and the legacy of Gerga Gamolin is an important example that can be found uh, here at the Institute. Um, when the legacy arrived, uh, we thought that it would be our main test for 2020, um, but in the meantime, Zagreb was hit by an earthquake on the 22nd of March. Um, the integrity of the building for the most part remains unimpaired. Um, and the building did not suffer any major damage, but uh, unfortunately our library did not far as well. Um, we found ourselves in front of a new and unknown situation. Um, so the library stock had to be uh, moved, cleaned, resorted and put back in place and everything had to be done on site. Um, that too was not an easy task. And because during its execution, a flooding occurred in Zagreb, in which part of the collection took damage, you can see uh, how it looked on the pictures. Uh, we had to manage without electricity and any prior planning on site, and the uh, entire point was to find a quick way out. Um, you can see how our library looks like now. Um, we finished with that process near the end of summer in 2020, and we thought that we were uh, done with that and that during fall we could start with some more mundane tasks. But unfortunately, at that time, we received sad news that uh, our colleague and important member of the Institute, Tom Komarovic, has passed away. Uh, without delay and out of respect for Tonko Marojevic, we decided to found an archive and ex libris uh, Tonko Marojevic. And we decided upon that endeavor due to the fact that we were at that point uh, a well-trained team which has acquired many skills, especially when it comes to information science, uh, but also due to the fact that the current condition need not to be kept anymore. And on the picture, uh, you can see his uh, study room before our intervention. Um, we thought that we would need a lot of time for that, but we've managed to establish the ex libris Tonko Marojevic pretty, pretty quickly. Um, and we've ended 2020 with another earthquake, but this time in Petrinja, but fortunately the damage was not great and only a handful of books fell off the shelves. And uh, on this picture you can see how ex libris Tonko Marojevic uh, looks like now. And uh, with that, I give the floor to my colleague, Philip. So, as Magdalena just mentioned, uh, we had a lot to do uh, and a lot to learn. Uh, none of us were prepared for the events of the previous year, uh, which made it the learning experience for all of us. Uh, the methods and perspectives that were a cumulative result of our collaboration uh, will surely guide us uh, through all of our future endeavors. Uh, therefore, uh, while preparing this presentation, uh, we thought of how to best sum up the insights we gained so we made this little uh, hashtag map, I guess, of some of them. Uh, building new competencies, inclusivity, collaboration, transfer of knowledge, democratic decision making. These are all the things that uh, we uh, find uh, important and that uh, guided us uh, through uh, 2020. And uh, this go beyond the workplace. Uh, our collaboration in the last couple of months was uh, transformative on both a personal and professional level. Uh, we as students were truly given an extraordinary opportunity to learn 
how to deal with special types of cultural heritage and did so in very extraordinary circumstances, uh, especially since we feel like no amount of theory can replace actual practice. We need both for growth, both theory and practice, but also both students and teachers. We learn as students and revise our methods as teachers. We grow together. Uh, you might rightly notice that on our hashtag map, we put the concept of solidarity front and center. At the end of the day, all of these documents, libraries, and collections that we strive to preserve are in essence tools for sharing knowledge, but preservation isn't enough. There is a silver lining to every crisis, the fact that we as people and as communities grow stronger and more resilient when we act together in times of need, and that the lessons we learn along the way will stay with us even after the crises subside. And those lessons, those that stay with us, are usually the most important ones. We would like to end this presentation with a quote from uh, Isidor Krishnavi that says that art is our companion in both happy and unhappy moments life. We here at the Institute feel like that quote also applies to the concept of solidarity. And so we would like to thank everyone from the Institute and everyone that's listening for your attention and your help. <laughs>